Hello everybody, it's Lily here. It is day 21 of June vlogs. So I've made it to the 21st. I'm quite excited to have come that far. Although I didn't record anything yesterday. I'm very sorry, but I was at work all day and honestly, nothing's happened. So I didn't really have anything to talk about. I didn't have time to do any crafting. So literally just work and eating, which is a lot of people's real life, isn't it? So it's just, it's just how it is really. Um, I am going to show you the bunny because she is finished. Lavender Bunny is finished. This isn't the giveaway episode. I'll do it in a separate episode, which is just about that. And I'll tell you what to do if you want to win her. Uh, this is just a general vloggy one, but I do want to show it because I'm excited, really. I want to show it to you because I'm excited. <laughs> Molly Makes. Does anyone remember Molly Makes magazine? I loved them. I loved it in 2015, then it didn't get, it sort of stopped being good really. So I saw this in a charity shop and I think it was, and I like, because I like Molly Makes, I thought, well, I'll just have a look. I'll just buy it, I can't remember how much it was. It's got a works label on, but I didn't get it from the works. So I'm going to just quickly flick through and decide if there's anything I'm going to make. Little felt key rings, they're quite cute. Oh, it's just reminded me I'm going to be making some English paper piece and key rings. I'd forgotten about those. I had a big list of things I was going to make and then time's gotten away with me. I think with doing the vlogs, that's nice. I haven't had so much time to actually make, which is why I had that little break that time because it was nice to have a little bit of making time. Oh, look at that. The biscuits, I mean. I haven't seen anything I want to make so far. Crocheted, crocheted tissue box cover. Does anybody use tissue box covers? Uh, rather terrifying looking <laughs> rabbit. They've all got scary faces, haven't they? Look at those. Oh my goodness. These are quite nice, cross stitch people. Little designs. Oh, I like those. I think this maybe this was why I bought the book because I like these little creatures, but then I'm not sure that there are patterns in here for those. The hedgehog's quite nice. Tweed hedgehog from the leaves. I want to make something a little bit Eastery, uh, autumn -y, sorry. They're quite nice. Mm, there's nothing really a flying fox, a knitted long foxy. No, there's nothing really. Oh, they're quite nice. They're hot water bottle covers. I do like them. I like the colours on the pink one. I don't know if I'd make it or not though, that's the thing. I've got a piece of paper in there with confidence written on. I don't know why is it on how to make a hot water bottle. I don't know why that's in there. It's given me a boost of confidence just looking at that piece of paper. I like those. I think I like mushrooms. Yeah, they're, they're cute. I could embroider those. I don't know why I would do them, but quite like them. I'm not very good at doing this. I keep... Oh, that's nice. I like these. Look, I could have done that for the mouse along. I love that mouse. That's like the vintage... I've got some of that vintage fabric, haven't I? That's cute. And... Oh, this is a cross-stitch book which I bought because when I did cross stitch in the 90s, I had this book and I absolutely loved it. And I made my nanny a knitting bag in the 90s and she still uses it. And I made it from one of these, similar to this. And it even has lots of little ribbon bow, like a bow made out of lots of little skinny ribbons, exactly the same as that. So, and I've also got one that I've made myself, which is still in here. But although I don't cross stitch anymore, I do love these designs. It's 
so yeah i just bought the book again just because i wanted to have it i think I, I think i was thinking about getting into cross stitch again but i didn't i don't i can't go christmas eve one i can't go off on my own style with cross stitch you kind of have to make it with the pattern don't well, yeah, i suppose you can but i don't think that's the point is it i can't really go with my own style And find the one that I made. Be in the bath. That one. If you've ever made anything out of this book, let me know if you remember it. I don't know how popular it was in the nineties. I know I loved it. That's nice. I might have made that one as well. I'm not sure. Oh, this is the one I made for my nanny. That one. But I didn't... Did I do, yeah, I did do the alphabet. Yes, but I just made it into a bag. Alphabet bunny. This is the one that I made myself. For me. Which I've still got. Friend is worth a thousand stitches. So I'm keeping that one just for nostalgia. And I've got this one, which I also got from a charity shop. This one wasn't from a charity This one I ordered from World of Books, I think. So I searched for it. So this is 50 fabric animals. And I'm not sure why have they got a baby bottle in between them. I don't know. And some blue sweets. I don't know, random items they've got there. Fun sewing projects for you in your home. Okay. There. Two. Kind of shiny bears. Child with a bear. They're quite nice, aren't they? Look at the little faces. Does anyone else get annoyed in a book when the, the patterns are the wrong size? You've got to somehow make them bigger. I'd probably just end up making mini ones from this really know how to make them bigger a big cuddly bear quilt ah now this is a classic haven't stuffed the face enough and this is in a book can you i mean it i imagine they'll think oh it's just a style but to me that would look better with a firmer face i think personally just my personal opinion I'm not really keen on the red eyes, are you? Mm. Well, there's the shiny bear pillows again. And a chef. A chef bear. Random <laughs> things in this book. That's cute. Bird. Christmas tree bird. And. Oh. I don't mind him with a little patch. Oh, I like. I wanted to make a goose for quite a while. I keep looking for patterns and I forget about it. So I might see if the goose pattern is in here. Is it a goose? Yes, it's a goose. Oh, maybe I'll make that goose into something. A massive bear. White colours and fun designs. Oh, goodness. I don't know what they are. What are they? Easter bunnies, are they? I mean, if the, an egg was hidden behind them, you'd be scared to go past them to get the egg, wouldn't you? <laughs> They're strange. And, oh, this one's got a head. I think it's just the faces. Oh, and we have some birds. I think some of the things I like the ideas. I'm not quite sure about the faces. No. What are they? Boxy bunnies. I mean, I guess they're quite cute. That's the kind of thing you could make with children, couldn't you? You could cut out the shape and just stick around the edges. And he is a bear wallet. Not an empty wallet. <laughs> a bear wallet. Oh, that looks quite realistic laying there. A dog. 
and some weird crazy cat and dog. They certainly are. It's an interesting mix in this in here, isn't it? Isn't there? Just another teddy. Ah. Could have made those for the mouse along. Country mouse. Could I make those cute, do you think? I, there's something quite nice about them. I, I think they've got a friendly look about them. I like him on the end. His little, he's got a little smiley face. He's cute, isn't he? And I quite like the clothes. They look like old man's clothes. And they've got little knobs. There were little um, string around there. And I don't mind the country mice. And a very rounded tummy bear. Patchwork cow. I don't mind the patchwork cow, actually. Floor cloth dog. Is he made out of, he's made out of floor cloths rather than using them to clean the floor? These are actually there are some quite nice things in here, and there's some not so nice things. Ghosts. As you know, I'm a bit weird, so I quite like this sort of style. I quite like them. I'm not kidding on the faces, but I like the clothes. So I could kind of make something like that, maybe. Another mouse. Oh, I don't like that. A plique. So many different styles in one book. I think I'll definitely keep this book. I don't think I'll keep the Molly Makes one, really. But there are some things in here that I think I would get some ideas from. I like that. Not into giraffes. That's different, isn't it? Made from lace. It's on a canvas. It's a ladybird. Oops. And a little bear. Cat plique. We're coming to the end now. So, Woodland Friends, I think you're going back to the charity shop. I'm going to keep you because there's some funny things, weird things that I might make in you. And I'm keeping you for nostalgia purposes. In other news, my, this has come and I love it and I'm really excited to use it. Let's use the mouse and just imagine this was behind here. You can still see through it perfectly, can't you? But it will be stitched over the top and quilted over the top. But I can't imagine what it's going to look like. Well, I kind of can. I kind of can't. No, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what I can do with that organza. Um, a kind of patchworky baggy thing. I'm going to make. I'm quite excited about that. Don't know when I'm going to do it, but I will do it. It's there on the table. We've got to fold it up and put it in the bag now. It's a big, big mess. <laughs> so here we have Lavender Bunny, who, as you know, I'm going to give her away, but I've got to read all the complicated competition rules first. So I will do it in a separate episode called Lavender the Bunny. Don't know why I'm whispering, she's not a baby, is she? So we made her from linen together and we used for her dress the shirt 
which was made from which was from a vintage fair vintage sale in Norwich that's how they say it in Norwich vintage shirt we have used I've teamed it up with a little bit of spot fabric I think it's just rose and hubble but it's a really nice colour don't know what the colour's called actually but it's very nice so I've just used it for the frill on the sleeves and her little bows and a little bit on her bag and I did an embroidered lavender I made her a little bag I had so much fun doing that there's nothing in her bag and on the back she has buttons although the dress these aren't toys they're made for display or all the children or adults the dress does come off i'll put velcro on so the buttons are fake buttons so you can see off the top bits lined the skirt isn't lined but the top bits all lined That's how the pattern is so yeah it does come off but she's not really made to be played with or swung around by her arms or her ears she won't like that she's just made to sit really and look pretty so there she is lovely lavender bunny all finished i hope you've enjoyed following me making her and and you've learned some not learned something i am not they don't think i'm a teacher but even if you just picked up a couple of tips or it's inspired you or you've put you in the mood for making one yourself or something then that that'd be really good it sort of be um i'd be pleased to know if you have but i'm really pleased with it i'll be sad to see you go lavender so yes i'm going to work out what i've got to put in the description and everything but it will definitely be something like you need to put a certain word in or something like that and I'll find out the regulations, the YouTube stuff for myself, and I might have to read something out about terms and conditions or something. I don't know. But I'll look into it and then bye for now. And then I will um, let you know. But I'll do it in the next couple of days. Love her little rosy cheeks. Aww. So I am going to sign off for today because nothing else is going to happen, I'm sure. I need to cook my. Um, so I will thank you for watching if you've watched this far and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.